Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So today we have a day to congratulate because now, in the eyes of the Chinese government and King's Group, we are equal citizens to Chinese people who have been getting these benefits for a long, long time. And well, now you too can enjoy them. Um, so what's this? Well, let me go here and show you what's going on. So you click on the top left program icon, the gear, and you go to account. And I'm not going to open it just because it would show my email or something like that. And I'm not going to do that. So, but you click on account, and now there's the King's Group um, account binding option. And what's this? Well, what it is, is um, it's basically the Chinese VIP program, sort of. Not exactly, sort of. But anyway, so it's, it's kind of like the Chinese VIP program, but a little bit different. I can't talk about that, but I can talk about what it will give you. So if you go to account.kingsgroupgame.com, you can sign up, you can bind it, you know, just whatever, follow the instructions. If you can't figure it out, well, sucks to be you. Anyway, so when you do that, you're going to get a reward. So there's going to be um, this King's Group account bound reward, and then there's going to be the registration pack reward. And I'm going to show you what each one of these is. So there we go. It's, it's an amazing 100 gold. Uh, great. Um, and... When you do your registration, you get exactly this. So you can see the rewards are just absolutely massive for giving them your private personal information. So if in fact you feel that you want to get those rewards, well, maybe sign up for them. However, there's a small caveat and I just want to give you guys a small heads up about this. So when you register your account, you bind it, everything is associated, you're going to see that you have exactly zero points so what I've been told is that there's two types of points. There's like, um, let me go, let me look at my notes. Wait a second here. Okay, whatever, I close the tab. So there's two types of points. There's like active points and there's like growth points or something like this. So the active points are things that you've earned in the past 30 days. And then there's the points for the lifetime of your account. So if you want to be level five VIP, you need to have spent $500,000 in the game, I think, and something like 2,500 in the past 30 days in order to keep your VIP five active. Oh my God, I hope I'm not VIP five. So, um, uh, sarcasm. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's the deal. Don't ask me what VIP4 is. Don't ask me what VIP5 is. It's not public. You need an NDA. Just, just don't ask. Um, but the VIPs 1 through 3 are available. So when you log into your King's Group account and you click on the little metal icon in the top right-hand corner, it'll tell you how many points you need. So the spoiler alert is, is if you're using Amazon Coins, it's like $800 per month to maintain VIP level 1. Um, it's like $8,000 to maintain VIP level two, I think it is. And then it just, you know, whatever, you can figure it out from there. Um, so yeah, so most people are probably going to be like, you know, VIP level one, it's, it's, you know, it's not too bad. And um, you'll get like, actual support or something. I think that's what it gives you. I'm not exactly sure. I need to look at it again. But whatever it is, it seems like it's a step in the right direction in terms of them trying to actually give two stinks about you. Um, yeah, because, you know, I mean, like if you lose your Facebook logins or, G, you know, your Google logins or something like that, and you need to recover your account, it's a little bit difficult to prove who you are. However, there's a downside to this. If you do account trading, this is going to work against you because I can promise you the people who try to do account trading that have this activated, you guys are burned. Uh, you, when they see that going from like, Singapore to like the United Kingdom, like that, that whole, you know, Kingdom 124 thing. Yeah, if they did that, and it's bound to this, you're gonna, you're gonna get some heat. So um, yeah, don't expect that the selling your account is going to be a thing that you can do easily after they've bound this. And also, it's probably going to be bad for bot farmers, because um, if bot farmers, um, yeah, anyway, you're, you're not going to be able to really, they're going to ban you. So bot farmers and people who trade accounts that try and take to take advantage of this, um, you might want to think twice. So if you think you're so if you think you're going to sell your account, don't bind it. Um, if you're running bot farms and stuff like that, don't bind it. Um, there's a couple other circumstances where it's probably not a good idea to use a king fruit binding. For example, if you're in Europe and the GDPR thingy, they probably violate that. 
So, you know, whatever your data privacy issues are, if you really care about it, yeah, you may not want to do this because they may be violating that. I don't know. So whatever. Um, it's really your, your point. Um, I, I look at it as being marginally different than Facebook or Google, except Facebook and Google I trust, whereas King Group I don't trust. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, in the past, Facebook has obviously burned a lot of people in terms of of blocking illegitimate accounts and people not being able to recover them. But then again, you were violating Facebook's terms of service in the beginning. So whose fault is that? Question mark. Can you really blame Facebook? No, not really, because you were using a fake account or a duplicate account and they told you you can't. And they basically enforce their policy, which I think is kind of a good thing. Um, yeah, so there we go. This is my very short, brief perspective on that. And what are the rewards that you can expect for getting the bound account and the registration, which is basically boopkiss. Um, so yeah, welcome to, yeah, King of Avalon reward system. Congratulations. Um, and other news, the timed event is out. So if you have your heroes, well, there you go. Um, beta should be dropping Friday afternoon China time. So I'd say roughly 24 hours from now, I should be posting another video, modulo, you know, some extra hours getting details about the upcoming beta. And I can tell you that there's a new event coming um, that should be super exciting, sarcasm, um, and probably equipment. So if you check the version history, you'll see that the next thing that they did was equipment. So it was not, in fact, artifacts. I thought it was artifacts. It wasn't. So it went statues, equipment, artifacts. So if they're following their exact same boring trend that they did before, then we're, we had just a statue update. We're going to equipment, and then artifacts. And about equipment, there's... Um, about equipment, there's... Um, yeah, some hidden news about that. I should post about some of the details about some, some equipment gifts that people were getting in the past. But anyway, yep, so that's all for now. Um, I love you guys. And oh, you can congratulate me on this. So everybody was crying and complaining about, oh, revenge doesn't have a billion power. Well, I finally didn't murder the heck out of myself, you know, KVK two weeks ago. And so I've actually built a little bit. Yeah. So now I'm at 1.1 billion power. And in the next, say, two, three days, it's going to be gone. So congratulations to me, but say bye-bye power coming soon. Because I'm certain I'm going to get a top five, top ten, super mean KVK match that I probably will lose more troops than I would logically should lose. I mean, by that, like, they're going to die, and I probably shouldn't have tried. I should just probably take the afternoon off. But whatever. So again, I love you guys. And um, that's all for now. So, okay. See you.